So it doesn't mind which seat we take, we have to pay anyways. Uh, if you have a gold light ticket, yes. It's a joke, come on. I cannot do anything about this. But why is nobody here who can help us? No one, because this is the fault of the company, right? Hey guys, welcome to a new trip report here on Cabin and Cockpit. Uh, right now I'm at Athens Airport. I'm flying to Zurich today with Aegean Airlines uh, on an Airbus A320, just normal A320, not a Neo. And uh, yes, uh, right now I'm at the front of the airport. You can see maybe the tower in the background. I will drop off my luggage, check in, go to the lounge and I will take you with me today. Hope you can enjoy. As Aegean Airlines is a Starlines member, we've expected they have a Starlines Gold check-in, but there isn't. We asked at the Olympic Airlines business class check-in and we were allowed to check in there, but there weren't any signs for a Starlines Gold check-in for Aegean. During the check-in, this happened. Ah, uh, you're a spare person. Okay, uh, can we take the free seats then? No, go light, because your first go light doesn't have free seats. So, do we have to pay for the seat? For the seat? Yeah. Why isn't it it's in the booking? So it doesn't mind which seat we take, we have to pay anyway. Uh, if you have a go light ticket, yes. But at first we had three seats, why do you need to pay now? Because uh, you change your seats and uh, the first go light. But I didn't want to change my seat. But you changed them? No, I did not because you need to pay them and I did, don't want go to do and that. Talk this. It's a joke, come on. I cannot do anything about this. The woman at the check-in desk wanted us to pay for the seats. After small discussion, she sent us to the Aegean service counter. There was no Starline service as well, so we had to wait. Yeah, but but why is nobody here who can help us? No one, because this is the fault of the company, right? Yeah, but this, this is... The guy at the service counter told us he can't do anything and there is no one at the airport who can. After a long discussion, we finally got some random seats for free and went back to the check-in, where I got told to drop off my backpack at another counter, which is not unusual. You take this and yeah. you give me the other one, okay? All right. The counter 93. 93, yes. It's next to the information desk. All right. But when I arrived there at this counter, nobody was there and I had to wait until someone finally came around to check in my luggage. So uh, right now we finally got our tickets. Uh, it was a huge discussion because of the seats. As we had three seats uh, at first. Uh, then I asked if we could change these seats, but uh, then they said it's like four euros or something, um, and we don't want it to pay four euros. So we asked for our seats we had before, which were free, uh, and they said that's not possible anymore. We need to pay four euros. We had a huge discussion with them, and uh, after about 45 minutes. Uh, it was possible to have our free seats back and uh, they just said it's in just an exception and yeah, it's the headquarter of Aegean Airlines and they don't even have like an information desk for Starlines Gold, they don't have a check-in for Starlines Gold, they ha just have a business class check-in and we asked if we can get there with Starlines Gold and they said yeah but usually not and uh, that's everything which is like, that's not okay, uh, especially for a headquarter. If it would just be a small base, like even Lufthansa have a smart Starlines Gold uh, counter here, but Aegean has not. Alright, so uh, I'm at the Lufthansa lounge right now here at Athens and uh, had something to eat. I had to drop off my luggage at a special <coughs> counter because it was a backpacker. I arrived at the counter and nobody was there so it was abandoned this counter and I had to wait for some minutes uh, until someone arrived. Um, that's also kind of service I don't like. <laughs> Um, so not the best day of a GN today, uh, but I really enjoyed the Lufthansa lounge. The food is very good, also the drinks. And uh, we have now uh, about an hour until boarding starts and then we're flying to Zurich. After
after the lunch we went to the boarding. Already 15 minutes before boarding some passengers already stood up to be the first on the aircraft. Some of them just waited there for the economy boarding and blocked families, business class passengers and other passengers with priority boarding. The boarding for families wasn't even finished when the ground staff asked economy passengers for boarding so everyone wanted to board the plane at the same time. So I know on the aircraft our boarding was horrible. <laughs> so uh, at first families and everything boarded. That's okay. And uh, then they asked business class and Starlines passengers for boarding. But five minutes uh, after they started boarding, so the families weren't even finished. They also asked normal passengers for boarding, so it was very crowdy. And uh, yeah, everyone boarded the plane when he wanted to. And um, yeah, so there's like no real order. So everything, everyone boarded the aircraft at the same time. There was not like a priority boarding or something, uh, which was quite messy. The seats were horrible on this flight. All coke and coffee were on the seats in front of us, while the IFE played again and again a short video how Aegean would clean their seats and their aircraft interior. Together with Kea is the model of Aegean's meal bag, including a cookie and a sandwich. The crew was very friendly, but what we've expected on the ground has nothing to do with care or togetherness. So at first I want to say that I know that a hand of people do not represent the whole airline, but there's a problem in the system of the airline if you charge passengers for seats uh, they haven't booked or whatever, and if you don't have any premium services. One thing Aegean Airlines could improve is uh, yeah, bringing signs for the Starlines gold check-in because if you don't know that the service is there at, for example, the Olympic Airlines business check-in, uh, you don't know where to go. Lufthansa has a Starlines gold check-in with a lot of signs and you definitely know where it is, but Aegean has not and Aegean also has their own frequent flyer program and at their headquarter there should be a kind of information desk for frequent flyers or business class passengers or gold passengers or whatever. So that's something Aegean Airlines definitely needs to improve. Another thing that needs to be improved is the boarding, especially in this times it's not okay if uh, many passengers at the same time want to board the plane. So just start a boarding group after the boarding group before has finished or something like that. I know it's quite busy sometimes at the airport and they have to watch for the slots and everything, but it's not very very good if so many people staying at the same point inside a building and everyone wants to board the plane. Something I also was kind of worried about is that the uh, crew doesn't give any information to the passengers that the air conditioning is necessary to have a lower chance to get infected by COVID uh, on an aircraft because uh, about 95% of all air conditioning turbines at the, at the overhead so um, over the over the seats you know uh, were off on this flight and there are many tests showing that uh, your breath can easily spread across other rows in front of you, behind you, if you don't use this kind of air conditioning. And uh, yeah, the, the crew didn't mention this at all. And uh, most of most of the uh, air conditionings were off on this flight. So that's something I would I would tell to the passengers that everyone can can look for himself, care for himself, and everyone stay safe on this flight. The last thing I want to mention is a real no-go by Aegean Airlines. So Aegean is promoting the cleanness with uh, a video which is coming about 50 times a flight on a, on a monitor on the overhead uh, and in the end their, their seats look horrible. So they were dirty, they were full of coffee and coke and I really don't want to know what it was because it was just ugly sitting there for over two hours in the seat with this uh, yeah, with the stuff in front of you. But anyways, the, f the crew was very, very friendly and uh, I also heard a lot of good things uh, on Aegean or about Aegean Airlines. 
um, yeah, I hope Aegean Airlines, maybe some employees watch this video, maybe you can learn or improve something with this and uh, I'm very sure many of you do a very great job, especially in these times. I hope you're gonna enjoy this uh, flight report. It was a, a special one because it's the first flight report for a long, long time on this channel. I hope to see you soon, guys. If you want, you can subscribe and I'm very happy for feedback in the comments as I'm not that confident on flight reports because I don't do it very often. But I'm sure I'm gonna see you in the next video and bye bye.